giving your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. All right, based upon your confession of faith. This is the culmination of the whole week. People ask me all the time, why so many people give their lives to the Lord and get baptized up here? And I think it really symbolizes what heaven is going to be by a little bit. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for each one here today. You know, this is not one thing, one step. It happens through all of the ministries that are up here. The people that are up here are sold out to God. Most of them are volunteers. They want to serve God, and that's why they're here. So this morning, um, we're coming in remembrance of um, a number of veterans, you guys. And um, may we never forget. And for me, it's um, a very humbling experience how people can be so selfless and give to others without expecting anything in return. For those that have gone through the struggles and a lot of these guys and gals that are uh, dramatically injured, they get into a cave and they stay in it. And for some of them, it's the first time they're out. For many of them, we hear statements like, this is like a honeymoon. We've never had a honeymoon. Then they come up to a beautiful place like this that's surrounded with God's creation. I mean, just the magnitude of the mountains and everything around us and the enjoyment of being with their spouse. So when they come here, we give them classes that are based on the Word of God. We talk to them about God. We pray about everything. We pray over everything. And then we have the opportunity to counsel with them, to sit down one-on-one -on -one with them and as a couple. And it's that opportunity that God opens up the door. And it's Him that opens up the door to share what Jesus Christ can do in their lives. The Son and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, I didn't know what it was to be a Christian or anything like that. So. This place was a real eye-opener for me, and I have a lot more to learn. I know one day at a time. Resurrected to new life. <laughs> and then for them to hear the gospel, and for many of them, for the first time to hear the true gospel, not just church stuff, but what God has said. If we hadn't come here, I don't think we would have made it another six months. Um, just a few days before we left, she said she wasn't coming. But now, you know, God has come back into our lives, or we've we've accepted God back into our lives. He's always been there. And we pray, God of heaven, that you would lead these couples all the days of their lives, and that you would continue to bring them and their families to your holy hill, to your mountain where their help can come from, your dwelling place. Father, thank you for this opportunity, Lord, just to get to know them a little bit here and to lift them to you in Christ's name. Amen.